Morning. Who ordered the dry day? Me. Rained all night though. I was a little bit worried about our lambs. Anywho, quick truck update. Things have escalated with the door. So you know it broke the hinge. Well, the wind blew and now it sort of slipped past there. So I actually can't open it more than that because it catches the wing. I was in it and I just tried opening it and I pushed it hard and it just, just, uh, just, uh, just, yeah. Yeah. We've got this Romney here. She's had a single that we caught up and we lambed her because she was trying to steal someone else's lamb. I wet adopted this one onto her, but it's just <sighs> doing that. Hasn't bonded back with her. She wants it, but he's not clever enough to work it out. Some lambs do that and it's quite frustrating. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly make a pen and just pen him up for the day so he can't wander off or she can't wander off and try and get them to bond. Please work it out, mate, because I gave you a chance. So frustrating, because it's when you're lambing outside, it's quite hard to actually catch a single up. Managed to wet adopt the lamb onto her, and for her to actually want it is quite annoying that he's just thick. He's just doing that. Right, we've done what we can now, so hopefully he'll work it out, get hungry, have a feed, they'll bond a bit, and that'll be that. He's with us because he was a triplet this morning and he was the weakest one, looked like he hadn't fed, so I thought I will have him away. It's all going on, I'm not gonna lie, I've got a lot of sheep lambing right now. Okay, so my next crisis, this you take here, got that lamb next to her, lamb that one, took ages to lamb this one, and it's come out and it's very cold. I put him in the lamb recovery position, if you know Sophie Harding on Instagram, she taught me that. Just put the lamb like that, it just opens its lungs up. But yeah, he's not right, he's uh, very cold, ain't got up. So we have to do something with that. Only problem is that sheep, I don't want to take it off because she'll never have it back. So ideally, she needs to come in with it. We can get it under a heat lamp. I don't know why it's like it. We don't usually get them like this and the weather's like this. So it's not a very strong lamb. But there's some sheep that you don't mess with. And that is the exact sort of sheep you don't mess with. I don't even think I'll catch her. So big decision here. If I don't do something that's going to die. She's just got raw attitude. Too much sass about her. Okay, I'm doing it. If you're gonna die, why is mate and you? Right, so I'm taking it away. Now there is a 95% chance she won't have that back, which is great. But um, there's also a 100% chance that's gonna die. So, to be fair, we've had a few hundred lambs now, and that is probably the only one that's been born weak like that. Right, get this one into the old ICU unit. Quick check in on this one. Oh, man, he just ain't really getting it. I'm gonna give him a bit longer and then I might latch him on. But I've got a ewe up here who's been stuck lambing for a long, long time. So I think I'm just gonna catch her up and pull it. And I can see a face and no feet. So I think we'll just have her. I'm just setting my camera up now so everyone can see me rugby tucking you because I'm sick of it. Me, me. There we go. Well, it's out. It's alive. I do like these old coal ewes. Come on, mate. These lambs we're having are just ridiculous. They wouldn't be the easiest lamb in taps either. Gold lamb like that. That's a twin as well. She's due another one. But nine out of ten, we'll have the other one fine. So that won't be a problem. Just having big old lambs like that. And the first one sometimes just needs a bit of a... Helping hand. Why I love the old coal use, you can mess about with the lambs. I can stand here, I can check it's all right, I can do all that while she licks it and she still wants it. Probably give her a scratch on the head, look. Quick off update as well. It's looking pretty sweet. Whomever it was that told me about the zinc tablets, thank you, taking them. Seemed to be, don't know whether it's what worked, but appreciate it, thank you. Couple of ducks on the pond. They like to frighten the life out of me first thing in the morning by flying off the pond. It's like a game of peekaboo that I don't want to be a part of. Still doing the cords, running around, checking everything's all right. This is a little ewe teg. I had to land my first one for her. So the second one herself. Good lambs, isn't it? You love them as well, don't you? Eh? Oh no, don't worry. <laughs> you can keep them. I've got plenty. <laughs> yeah, all right, well done. 
This is why I've been worried about the weather, because you see how bald they are, really tight skin is what we call it. They've just not got, they're going to have a very tight fleece. And uh, this, like, the relentless rain in the night is just not good for them. You like the sunny weather, don't you? Just wanted to quickly show you, the, you guys these ears. Come here, you. Oh, 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 gotcha. Look at the ears on this guy. It's like a bat. Strangest little ears I've ever seen. <laughs> They're gonna get so sunburnt in the summer, poor guy. Little and large twins. This she's trying to nick this lamb off of her. Really annoying. The most annoying, in fact. Just confuses the lamb. So what I'm probably gonna do is get the truck, catch her, and then I'll drive her all the way up there, far, far away. But she can't be a annoying. I'm so good at swe not swearing on YouTube. You are, I know. Yeah, so it's really impressive. To come back to the you I lambed earlier. It's been two hours, maybe. Don't know. I think we'll just do it, won't we? I hope it's not as big as that one. There you go. Oh, it's just as big. That was the most professional one I've ever done. That was professional. Wait, good job. <sighs> screaming at me, mate. You've got a mum. We are lambing some just over the road there as well, and I've just had a Scotchy have a lamb that's had its head stuck, and she's got it out, but it's not alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skin a lamb. It's where we take the skin, literally, and put it on a another lamb as a coat. It sounds so brutal. It's pretty weird, isn't it? But it's just to convince the mum that it's her own lamb. I mean, she's going to fall for it, so I'm going to do that right now. Two big lambs. That's it. Well done, mate. Who is Cal? Go are you? We just drove out to get her. Gonna skin that lamb onto her. But she had a second one coming, and it was the exact same thing. Head was stuck. I rushed over, and we've managed to get it out. It's alive. So I'm just gonna put him in the old. Recovery position again. Yeah, I mean, she looked at me and I thought, it's your last chance to be a mum, like, I'm gonna make it happen for you. But to be honest with you, one big lamb like that's plenty for her to rear. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave her to that one and hopefully that's it. So the lamb thief has lambed. And I think they're trying to co-parent now. So I just had to shoot off because we had a phone call saying that there's a load of sheep on the road. Where we've got our hoggets grazing the wheat. Didn't really need this today but they look like they're all right. They're back in the field. I don't know if that's all of them, but what's uh, what's quite funny is he rang me the other day and said, look, we've got this kale we've finished picking. Do you want to graze it? I was going to say no because, well, I'm, I'm sending these to Ashford on Tuesday, but it looks like they've grazed it anyway. Now, in truth, I've been a bit of a bad shepherd here. Oh, this door's killing me. I knew that the batteries run out here and I thought they'll be alright for a couple of days. They're so good on that fence, they'll be fine. And I've been meaning to get here and change it, but obviously it's been a bit hectic with the lambing. So I haven't. And now I'm paying the price. See if they'll run under that. Hopefully that's all of them there. Right, do we think they'll run under that? Hopefully. Oh, they look good, them hogs, don't they? Were we saying hundred pound each? I hope so. Oh, they do look well. They look like they got right into that kale, look. Little buggers. It's a good job we're allowed to eat that now or I'd be in a lot of trouble. And I've been a good shepherd this year. I've kept them lambs in everywhere. Whenever they've got out, it's hot on it. Good girl. Good girl, Indy. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Good dog. There we go. That done it. <laughs> Job's a good one. Right. Gonna get the fence fixed. And get home. Back to the lambing. 
you see that? It's got a bag in my hood. Sweet. Right, so I've just got back to the farm now. Just need to run around, spray one's cords. Okay, one's mothered up all right. Don't know who this guy is. Actually, I do know who this guy is. You're nowhere near your mama. This is the one we lambed earlier. Mum's gone for a drink, left him behind. So yeah, just check no one else is lambing. It's getting on a bit now, losing the daylight. Me, me. We need to make a decision about this guy. So we're gonna move the pen just somewhere a bit cleaner. Get her a bucket of water. She can stay in there tonight. This will use over the lovely pair of lambs. Me. Yeah, hello. So this year we actually bred ourselves. Just kept getting lame, then ended up staying the summer, then got in lamb, and that was our selection process, so top farmers. Anyway, she lambed as a ewe lamb. Now as a teg, she's had them two. Can't grumble at that. This little monster's been born. Had a bit of a rough lambing with her for him, but I mean, are you surprised? Look at the guy. Big and dopey again. Nice mule, pair of Texel mule lambs. Look at them little beauties. All right. So that is a wrap. We're just gonna finish checking up now. Fairly successful day adopting on some lambs, which is nice. I've had a lot of lambs born alive, which is really nice. Uh, the weather stayed dry as well, even better. Sadly, the little lamb that was in ICU didn't live, but overall, pretty good day. Catch you again soon.